Hi everyone. In this video, Apostle Joshua Selman will be teaching us on the perfect way to pray. This video will bless you powerfully. Prepare to be blessed by this video production. Feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, and God bless you. What does it mean to be effectual? Effectual means to use or to engage in a way that avoids loss or waste of time and energy. Listen carefully. Effectual by definition means to use or to engage in a way that avoids loss, L-O-S-S, or waste of time and energy. So you are effectual to the degree to which you are efficient and there is minimal loss of energy, of time and resources. Am I right on that? The Bible says the kind of prayer that produces power in the spirit is prayer that is number one, fervent. Your heart condition, your zeal, your passion. But number two, it says it must be effectual. Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. Most believers I observed here, they pray fervent, sincere, heartfelt prayers. But very few believers pray effectual prayers. Remember, we're going to pray. What then makes prayers effectual? It's important for us to understand. At what point do you know that your prayer is effectual? Is it by the sound of your voice? Is it by the motions that follow the prayer as well intentioned as they are? Let me show you from scripture. Are you ready? What makes prayers effectual, listen, is the degree to which the will of God is captured in that prayer. You have to understand this. What makes prayer effectual is not the sincerity of the one praying alone. The degree to which the will of God is captured in that prayer operation is what makes prayer effectual. So the Bible says the effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous, if it is truly effectual and if it is truly fervent, the Bible says it produces power. Are we learning now? So what makes prayer effectual, I repeat, is the degree to which the will of God is captured in that prayer. The word compliancy of your prayer is what makes it powerful. Not just the spirituality of the activity of prayer. The degree to which you are praying the will of God is where the guarantee for answer and power lies in. If you're understanding me, say amen. Now write this down, please. Praying the will of God is beyond attaching scriptures to prayer. Just listen carefully. You came to church. Praying the will of God is beyond attaching scripture because you will be learning that the Bible is a prophetic book. You can make it speak anything you want to hear. So just because a scripture was connected to what you are saying does not mean when Satan wanted to bring Jesus down, he started by just talking casually. But when Jesus responded, it is written. From then on, every other thing he said, he connected it to scripture. Yet it was not the will of God. Is that in your Bible? So just because you found a scripture for what you want does not mean it's the will of God. Say amen. I promise that we're going to be praying, so we'll soon pray. Maybe in the next five minutes we'll pray and then we'll continue. Are we learning now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So when you pray consistent with the will of God, the Bible leaves us with an assurance 
that your prayer becomes effectual 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 this is very powerful I will talk a bit about this but let's go to first John chapter 5 and verse 14 may I request that we read in concert when we have it projected ready one to read and this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he heareth us one more time please and this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he heareth us verse 15 if you do not mind and if we know that he heareth us whatsoever we ask we know that we have our petitions that we desired of him hallelujah ephesians chapter 5 when we read 15 to 17 paul makes a profound statement that i did not understand for many years he said see that ye walk circumspectly the word circumspect is accurately are we together accurately not as fools but as wise where is the wisdom in that statement he says you are wise when you redeem time because the days are evil are we together now that means according to paul's understanding the most expensive commodity on earth is time he says in all your living do not waste time and that you must master the art of redeeming time and the wisdom to redeem time according to this scripture in verse 17 he says wherefore be ye not unwise but understanding what the will of god is that means the moment you know the will of god you redeem time because the time that you move in error and confusion and then you return back is minimized discerning the will of god is one of the ways we gain time because you walk accurately knowing that you are at the heart the epicenter of the will of god and the apostle calls that wisdom we together this is very important the entire kingdom system was built around the will of God it is important that we understand these believers the entire system of the kingdom was built around the will of God when Jesus was teaching what we call the Lord's Prayer he says when you pray you pray that your kingdom come and then he says thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven so you would notice that the entire economy of heaven revolves around the will of God in fact this is the assignment of the power of God to maintain the will of God in the life of the believer and across the cosmos when the will of God is not in place the power of God has no assignment the assignment of the power of God is to enforce and to maintain the will of God the reason why the sick are healed is not because the power of God can heal. It's because sickness is inconsistent with the will of God. So the power of God finds an assignment there. What gives the power of God assignment, are we together now, is its ability to bring all things to line up with the will of God. If you understand the concept of the will of God, then you will have power in your prayer. Are we together because you see the first assignment of the believer in approaching prayer is to understand the will of God concerning what you are about to pray for or to understand how to find out the will of God making decrease is useless until you ascertain you are in the will of God are we together now every time you are in ignorance as to the will of god your first assignment is to get to a point of understanding and i'm going to be showing you so you see that most believers do all kinds of things around the place of prayer and just because sincere energy was dissipated we hope that god will sympathize with our passion and somehow answer it you see god has bound himself to honor his word the bible says he exalts his word even above his office If you're learning say amen. amen so the Bible talks about the will of God as the secret that makes prayer powerful but in truth and in experience we learn that there are many aspects of the will of God that are clear and known from Scripture but from a pragmatic standpoint there are times where unique to your destiny you will be at a loss as to 
the unique expression of God's will, a provision was made in our dealings with God where men can tap into that intelligence. Are we together now? That the will of God was that was prior to that time not known, it can be known. This is where the Holy Spirit comes in. We believe you are blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.